While the private health insurance sector is seeing an unparalleled growth in India, the major burden of health security for masses is still on government's shoulders. The central government along with a number of state governments has launched various schemes to provide at least some kind of health cover to those who can't afford it. But even then, the schemes presently cover only 180 million beneficiaries, which is only 15% of the population. सरकार की राष्ट्रीय बीमा योजना है और उस ग्रामीण वृद्ध बीमा योजना के अंतर्गत उन्होंने एक तीन सौ रुपये सालाना का इंश्योरेंस अमाउंट दिया है जिसमें कि पच्चीस से तीस हजार रुपये तक का मैं उसके पक्ष में कम से कम उन नागरिकों के जो दूर दूर जगह पे रहते हैं या ट्राइबल एरियाज में उनको अगर तीस की भी इंश्योरेंस अवेलेबल है तो उनकी नॉर्मल डिलीवरीज उनकी वाटर बॉन्न डिजीजेज उनकी वैक्टर बॉन्न डिजीजेज उस सब का इलाज हो सकता है उनका बुखार का इलाज हो सकता है उनकी छोटी सर्जरीज हो सकती हैं उससे ज़्यादा उनको जरूरत भी नहीं है लेकिन सरकार को इन चीजों को प्रमोट करना चाहिए अगर आप उनकी उनके डाटा देखेंगे उस डाटा में इतनी भ्रांतियां हैं कि उस डाटा को उन्होंने बड़ा चढ़ा के बोलने की कोशिश की गई है लेकिन अगर ग्राउंड रियलिटी देखेंगे तो अभी तक वो गांव के हर आदमी को इसके से कवर नहीं कर पाए पॉवर्टी एंड लैक ऑफ हेल्थ सर्विस टूगेदर फॉर्म अ विशियस साइकिल The poor are at higher health risks at the same time healthcare costs pushes them further into the quagmire of destitution. As per NSSO assessment data, nearly 65% of India's poor get into debt and 1% fall into BPL each year because of health issues. For the government, the biggest challenge is to provide health insurance services to the right beneficiaries. The single biggest challenge in any of these schemes is the identification of the core beneficiary. So if, uh, for example, in RSBY, the core beneficiary is intended to be below poverty line people. Um, in terms of the way it is set up, uh, you know, there's clearly defined criteria uh, as to who is below poverty line and uh, the data uh, is structured in a fashion. But uh, even with that, there are challenges on the ground because a lot of times the data is old. So, for example, in some of the states where we are implementing the scheme, the data is as old as 2002 census. There is need to widen the coverage of government-sponsored health insurance schemes like RSBY and CBHI so that more and more people can avail their benefits. These government social health insurance schemes have sown the seed and private health insurance companies are doing their bit behind the scene. You see, even in the RSBY, it is the ICIC Lombard which is prime driver. So I think it's a step forward. India is a huge country with a huge population of 1.2 billion people with a lot of challenges. So and uh, while we might have been slow in uh, looking at these kind of solutions, but India has a tendency to leapfrog and leapfrog in a manner which is far more cost effective than our western counterparts. So I am quite confident and quite hopeful that together the private sector and the government sector will come out with far more innovative schemes and far more innovative policies in coming years which will benefit all sections of society. The government sponsored health insurance plans are not only well designed but also promising. But in a country like India, it should expand to more and more number of people. At the same time, it's time the administrative process is made easier so that the common man can benefit from these ambitious plans. CVB News, New Delhi